But breaking news from Yemen to tell you about first of all, there are reports that the house of a former president has been blown up by Houthi rebel fighters. RT has obtained uh, unverified footage that's said to show Ali Abdullah Saleh's dead body. But just to warn you that this video is extremely graphic and it might upset some viewers if you do watch it. I do apologise I wasn't able to warn you before we started showing you that video. Meanwhile, the Yemeni interior ministry, controlled by Houthi rebels, has confirmed the death of the country's former president. And Saleh made a public break from the rebel fighters in a speech on Saturday. He'd been leading the civil war in Yemen and had been allied with the opposition militants. Let's go live to Sanan now. We can talk again to a journalist there, uh, Mohammed al Mohammed, Mohamed, welcome back to the programme again. So we are getting more details. There's that unverified video that we have, but in this day and age, of course, uh, we still need to verify the facts of this matter. Is there anything more that you can tell us about the fate of the former President Saleh? Uh, so far, uh, according to the footage uh, that we we have received, uh, uh, it's the, uh, the it confirms that the uh, uh, former president Ali Abdullah Saleh has killed. But but, uh, but so far, uh, in the, within the coming two hours, uh, things will be will be clearer uh, we're, we're about his uh, about what happened really to to Saleh, uh, who has ruled Yemen for over 33 years. Uh, the, 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 this, uh, this news has uh, sent shock waves across the country, especially as uh, uh, many uh, Yemenis believe that uh, Saleh was the, the man of the, the, the period. But so far, the situation uh, is not clear. Uh, the, the, this footage, which has been circulated uh, throughout the media platforms, uh, confirmed that uh, Saleh was in his way out of the capital, Sana'a. Uh, some reports say that he was uh, on, on his way to Marib province, which is under the control of Saudi Arabia, and also uh, mil uh, forces uh, loyal to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the legitimate president, Abdurrabbu Mansour Hadi. Uh, uh, the Ansarullah uh, group has already confirmed that they, uh, they, uh, they have already uh, defeated the uh, Saleh's forces, and they have already uh, taken the things into their, uh, into their hands in the capital, Sana'a, and they announced with the death of the uh, uh, the former president that now the uh, they have already uh, uh, defeated their uh, uh, rivalry uh, in the capital Sana'a. But uh, so far, m many analysts believe that the, uh, the 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 situation and the conflict would wouldn't stop by the death of uh, the former president, uh, as the, the the loyalists of the former presidents would would continue uh, his march, and uh, especially uh, as the former president has his son in uh, the United Arab Emirates, uh, who uh, used to lead the uh, Republican guards. Uh, the uh, they believe that the. Uh, the uh, Republican guards uh, would 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 uh, would uh, would, uh, would join ranks uh, in the fight against the uh, Ansarullah fighters, especially from uh, Marib and different but areas of Mohammed, the country. It's 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 a complicated picture. Now, uh, the former president, a powerful figure even today, even though he was ousted from power several years ago. Now, things took a dramatic turn though within the past week. What happened? Uh, sorry, can you, can you repeat your question quickly? I Things took a well. dramatic turn within the past week. Saleh is still a very powerful figure, and his ally to the Houthis, then not, and then back again. But things took a dramatic change within the past week. What went wrong in that alliance? Uh, I can't tell you that uh, the, the uh, former president Ali Abdullah Saleh's uh, latest speech, where, during which he called called for direct uh, talks with Saudi Arabia, uh, as as he mentioned that the uh, the parliament of the country is the only and the sole representative of the uh, Yemeni people, that has angered the uh, the uh, the Ansar Allah, who considered this as a coup against their partnership in their fight against Saudi Arabia. Uh, this so since that. Uh, speech, uh, things went uh, dramatic, uh, especially as the, as the, uh, the Ansar Allah uh, group, when they uh, uh, marked the Prophet of Islam's uh, birthday uh, in the Sabin, uh, the th things started to uh, take uh, a dangerous turn, especially as the Ansar Allah considered that the, uh, Ali Abdullah Saleh has allied himself with Saudi Arabia. He uh, described him, uh, I described this as a, a betrayal 
for their partnership. So the, the t they have taken these uh, uh, these clashes and conf uh, confrontations against uh, the Salah's b b bodyguards and, and his also forces. Mm. But the things would not stop at this moment, at this po point, as the the uh, the conflict is, is could might uh, widen and the situation in Yemen is is really reached a difficult situation as the the humanitarian situation here in the country has reached the, the, the dangerous levels. More than the 19 million Yemenis are in in a in a dire need for uh, for food uh, for food, uh, with the continuation of the Saudi blockade of the airports and seaports. I'm sure that uh, now, if this is uh, a verified incident, then things are likely to take a turn for the worst. Only time will tell when we can find out further details. For now, though, Mohammed Al-Attab, thank you very much for updating us from Sana'a.